Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Rudder Lessons and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it and I hope that this video finds you well. In today's episode, we're gonna be taking a closer look at a fragrance by the company Navitus Parfum and this one is called Exalt Nuit, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before we begin our discussion on Exalt Nuit by Navitus Parfum, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance-related content, if you like fragrance reviews here on YouTube, but also top 10s, giveaways, unboxings, special guests, pretty much anything having to do with fragrances, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner. And of course, while you're at it, make sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. This way, whenever I do put out these videos, they will get delivered straight to your feed. So here we have Exalt Nui by Navitus Parfum. I'm sure a lot of you know that I am the creative director for the first two collections, which is inclusive of 10 different fragrances. It was quite the journey, and this amazing journey started in November of 2019. I can't believe it's been exactly a year, and this fragrance was launched in collaboration with a good friend of mine and a fellow YouTube fragrance reviewer here on the platform. I'm going to leave his information down below. His name is Buck, and he has a channel called Big Beard Business. He was the sole creative director behind this collection, and this is a collection inclusive of five different fragrances. You see the others here. Some of them might be cut off the screen here. But today we're gonna to be talking about one of the fragrances that I think is perfect and beautiful for the colder weather. And this one is a collaborative effort between perfumers Francis Kirkjohn and Jerome Di Marino. This one is called Exalt Nui. This has two variations of natural tobacco. It has natural citrus from Italy. It has black pepper, it has cocoa, lending the fragrance's beautiful gourmand quality in the opening. There is so much going on in this fragrance from the jasmine to the pepper, to the cocoa, to the anise, to the two variations of tobacco and the resins that are utilized in the base, the benzoin, the cystus. I'm really excited to tell you about the smell. Let's start things off with the presentation. So the box for this fragrance comes with this beautiful black sleeve with gold accents. The box opens up in this vertical fashion. It has the magnetic flap here on the front. And on the inside, you will find the logo once more. And then here you have a card with the name of the collection, the name of the fragrance, and the name of the company. The bottle sits in there very beautifully on a bed of silk. And the bottle also has this beautiful opaque matte finish, double coated matte finish with the gold hardware. There is a sticker on the bottom with your information. Just keep in mind, this is so strongly concentrated. The percentage of alcohol is 71%. I urge you and encourage you, try to compare the alcohol percentage of other fragrances to this one, and you will see just how much oil percentage there is in this one versus other fragrances in your collection. The cap for this fragrance is a snug fit, but I wouldn't pick it up from the cap because this is such a heavy bottle. And the distribution on the atomizer is nice and wide, and this is a pressurized atomizer, so you can control how much you wanna spray. Let's continue with the smell. So as soon as this fragrance opens up, you are going to get a fragrance that is spicy, sweet, resinous, green, peppery, and tobacco-y. And yes, I actually do pick up on all of those elements straight away. As soon as you spray this on skin, you are going to get the diversity in the note breakdown. So it has the Indonesian patchouli in here, which adds a really nice, almost chocolatey touch in the base. And then you also have this cocoa note in the opening that really solidifies that sweetness and makes it apparent from the onset. You also have this Madagascan pepper note, which adds this touch of spiciness. And you have nutmeg as well, but I think it's a nice balance of the pepper and the nutmeg, but it's really the tobacco that is up front and center in this fragrance. I would be inclined to say this is a tobacco-based fragrance, and you have the Bulgarian tobacco, and then you also have the African tobacco absolute. And I think it's a combination of these two natural ingredients, and there are so many natural ingredients used in this fragrance, from the jasmine to the pepper to the tobaccos to the resins. There's so much going on in here, and it is a complex aroma, but it's one that that you really need to spend some time with to fully appreciate that vast evolution and that progression that happens from hour one to hour 10, or however long it ends up lasting on your skin. On my skin, I get anywhere between eight to 10 hours. So it opens up with this abundant tobacco thing going on in the opening, but it's a tobacco that's quite different from other tobacco fragrances that I've smelled. So when I think of tobacco, I think of Creed's Tabarome, I think of Tobacco Vanille, I think of Herod by Parfum de Marly. This 
fragrance smells like none of those fragrances. And I think it's because of the touch of green that you're gonna find with the Indonesian patchouli, but also because of that peppery and sweet quality from the cocoa. So it's this cocoa-based and chocolatey tobacco that opens up the fragrance. It's beautifully spicy, and it has this resinous dry down that I think is absolutely gorgeous. It's very dark, mysterious. It lends itself to a perfect wearing, especially if you're gonna wear it in the colder weather. I think it's really suitable for when the temperature drops and it starts to get chilly outside. Today, I was actually gonna leave the house with a button down, but I ended up throwing on my, my jacket and all I can smell is this. This is actually my scent of the day today. I am loving it so much. Buck, I think you did a fantastic job with this one and I hope that there are many more to come and I really believe in you and your creative direction and your passion for fragrances. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, I took a look at the uniqueness and the overall smell, and this is definitely a unique fragrance. I was trying to compare it to other tobacco-based fragrances that I've tried in the past, whether that be Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford, or Tabarone by Creed, or even Herod by Parfum de Marly, but this fragrance doesn't smell like any of those fragrances. It definitely stands on its own two legs, and I think it's so well done, and I really wasn't expecting anything less, especially considering Buck's passion for fragrances, Buck from the channel Big Beard business and also the perfumers Jerome Di Marino and Francis Kirk John, both of whom I met in person and they are incredibly passionate, they are so intelligent and they are pioneers at what they do. Of course, if you're familiar with fragrances like Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Kirk John, Le Mall by Jean-Paul Gaultier, Ultra Mall by Jean-Paul Gaultier, these are masters at what they do. In terms of the longevity, I got about 10 hours on my skin. Projection was very good for the first three hours of application. It didn't start to sit closer to the skin until about that seven to eight hour mark and then it creates this intimate bubble where you will please anybody who gets very close to you. In terms of the versatility, this one is also quite versatile with one caveat. I wouldn't wear this one in the hotter weather. I think when it comes to spring and summer, if you're wearing it in a climate controlled environment, you're wearing it indoors then fine, but because of the spices, the pepper, the cocoa, the patchouli, the incense, the tobacco, this is a rich and exotic cold weather fragrance. So get it now and get it while you can. I think it's perfect for this time of the year. And I'm telling you right now, this is my scent of the day and I'm gonna be wearing this fragrance a lot over the next few months, especially merging into spring as well, when I wanna you know, keep in mind those wonderful memories that I've had, you know, the winter holidays and whatnot. I think this one is perfectly unisex. I think this is more of a special occasion type of a fragrance, but I think it's very reasonably priced, especially considering the size, the concentration, and the promotion that is going on on the website right now. I'm gonna leave all of that information down below. Presentation is gorgeous. My final verdict on this fragrance is, I am so proud of you, Buck, from Big Beard Business. You did an incredible job with the brief and the thought that went into this fragrance. I know what it takes to produce a fragrance that will resonate with a lot of people and that they're very passionate about. And you did such an incredible job. You have my support and you will always have my support. And also, Francis Kirk John and Jerome de Marino did a fantastic job with this fragrance. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. That was my review of Exalt Nuit by Navitus Parfum, part of the Enamored Collection. Of course, it was more of a discussion and not a review, despite the fact that it did contain the same format that I use for all of my videos, just for consistency's sake. But you guys know that I am the creative director for two of the collections, and Buck from Big Beard Business is the creative director for this collection. And again, super proud of you, my friend. So there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you took something of value from this this video, please don't forget to like this video, leave a comment down below. I always love the interaction. And of course, make sure to subscribe to this channel to support it. I would really appreciate that. And make sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. Thanks again for watching. I love you all. We'll see you next time. Bye.